Hello everybody, it's me, Rena. Um, I just wanted to make a, a update video. Today is Saturday, April 1st, 2012. And um, for those of you, I know when you watch a video, the first thing you want to know is how much did they weigh in the beginning. Um, when I first had the gastric bypass, I was 427 pounds. But before I had it, I had to go through a program to get the gastric bypass. I was at 461 or 67, I don't remember, but 460 something um, pounds. So um, that's where I started. And now I am, I think around 279, 280. I just had a baby. Um, my last post was, I was telling you about my baby and I wasn't, um, losing any weight but I was gaining weight but I didn't know I was pregnant and then when I found out I was eight months and then I had my baby like two weeks after I found out I was pregnant um, yeah I know have you ever watched I didn't know I was pregnant and think they lie it's not true well it's true because I'm a person that went through that <clears throat> anyways um I had my baby in January and she is going to be three months tomorrow and she has been such a blessing in my life. Um, for those of you who's been following me, you know I've been married for 11 years. Me and my husband had no kids, only my two girls that I've adopted. Um, I love them very much and I was happy with them but to have a baby on my own was a blessing and I'm thankful and I don't think I would have ever had it had her unless I had the gastric bypass because I was huge. <laughs> um, eating. Let's go straight to it. Um, I eat everything and anything I can. Um, I still can't do McDonald's, a whole burger. I cannot. Um, I have a french fry here and there when my kids eat like maybe three four pieces of french fries. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I, I still love to eat my chicken, um, life is good, for those of you watching and um, are thinking about getting the gastric by bypass, if, you've had, if you're, you're having a really hard time losing weight, um, I say get the gastric bypass, uh, I, I only got it because I was at 400 pounds and I don't think I jumped on the scale for like 3 years. And then when I finally did, I was it was too late. I was 400 something pounds, and um, yeah. Um, and when I found out I was that much, I already had my girls. And it was so shitty because I would go with them places, and I can see I would go with them to places, and I. I never do nothing. I just sat there and watched them play and I was too big that's why and oh I tell you I can do I feel you know I'm 270 pounds but I feel light as a feather and I'm grateful. I feel like I can do anything and um I'm just so happy with my life and everything that I'm doing now. I just have a more positive outlook on everything. I did before but I was, I felt con confined, like I couldn't do certain things that I wanted to do. And then I thought, why am I going to go there? Because I can't even do anything. Why, can't, why am I going to go here? I can't do anything. Yeah. Where to now? Oh my gosh, I can do anything. Anything a hundred pound girl can do now. <laughs> but, um, life is good. My kids are good. My baby is good. I would show her to y'all, but she's sleeping and I don't want to bother her, but, um, yeah, I'm in my kitchen and I'm sorry you see my pots and pans in the back, but anyways, um, what else no. did I want to know when I watch people's videos? Um, shopping. Oh, I used to shop at Big and Tall's all the time, the men's store, because they didn't, in Hawaii, we don't really have like a plus size store. Um, I shouldn't even say plus size, it was like quadruple plus, because <laughs> I couldn't fit like 3x, I was 5x. Um, I'm 2x now. I, I fit 3x if I like be comfortable, but if I want to show that I'm a little bit small, I wear a 2x and that's small enough for me and I'm happy with it. 
Um, I got my surgery September 21st, uh, 2010. Yeah, and then it's 2012, so you can do the math when how long I had it. But um, I just want to say hi to everybody and um, the people that write me. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I haven't forgotten any of you. And oh my gosh, I see um, Sarah. I, I was watching TLC the other day and with my husband, and I just started crying because she was on TV. And oh, freaking Sarah, you are the shit because you showed it all. And I was like, I was so emotional during the the airing because it takes a lot of guts to get on camera and show your excess skin. And she was at only three hundred. 40 pounds and when I say only it's because I was um, only 460 something and she had a lot of excess skin so can you imagine me but um I'll just give you a small body shot I don't have that much I guess because I worked hard I, I walked a lot and um, I'm not trying to say I miss fit or anything but you know, you can imagine being 460 pounds and not having excess skin. That's a bunch of BS. But, um, this is me. Um, now, uh, yeah, I just had a baby in January, so don't judge. Um, compared to before, there's my arms, yeah. Okay, I want to wash my ass. This is me, fuck me. Um, me. Um, yeah, I feel good. Oh, if you watch my before videos, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm happy. Everything's good. Um, yes, baby. Um, I hope all of you are doing well and um, taking care of yourself. And my goal weight, um is to be 200 pounds by the end of this year um, yeah that's a lot of weight but i have the gastric bypass on my side so I, I i do not have an excuse yeah so um i love all of you um keep it pushy uh, be happy and I hear my baby. Hold on. And sorry for the mess in the back. Oh. Oh. This is my baby. My America baby. Um, yeah. Yeah, hi. She's three months tomorrow. She's a fatty like me. <laughs> and um, anyways, thanks for stopping by and take care. Love you guys. Uh, keep pushing and take care. Bye.